Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to Sky Village Survival Season 4, Episode 1. I'm going to get into, you know, everything real quick. But first, uh, I'm going to open the blacksmith chest, and then I guess I'll start getting some stuff. So, a uh, decent chest, I guess. We got some armor. So, what is this series? Uh, the very first series I ever did on my YouTube channel. We're talking original Billabob here. Uh, the only reason I'm doing this on Corn on the Bob is because, obviously, it doesn't really fit in with my main content. But on the original Billabob channel, I had a series called Sky Village Survival, which was just like this, where we've got a bunch of villages that generate in the sky, and you just have to go around pillaging villages and, and trying to, you know, get stuff done. Beat the Ender Dragon, maybe. Who knows? I don't even know if it's possible, honestly. I know you can go to the Nether... Uh, by getting really lucky from chests, and you can get a bed. I don't, I don't, obviously you can't go to the end, actually. There's no end portal. I'm really stupid. So, uh, I didn't show how to create this world at the start of the video, but basically you just make a super flat preset, and then, and then, like, replace the bedrock with air. I made a tutorial on it at the start of all the other seasons, and you're probably like, what other seasons? I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, and that is a reasonable thing to think. So, yeah, the very first series I ever did on my channel was Sky Village Survival, and I did one season of it, and then I abruptly ended it when I'm pretty sure either I got bored with it or the world file got corrupted, and then I decided to start from a fresh slate and make a season two. I just lost that wood that's really sad. And uh, the same thing happened with that. I basically just stopped. There was no finale or anything. So, yeah. Uh, and then in, I made a season three of it too. Just one episode. Don't die, please. For, as a joke for April Fool's. I don't know if it was last year or the year before. But that was honestly the most god tier thing I have ever uploaded to this channel. Let's get out the village here real quick. Uh, because, yeah. High quality video right there. Because there were so many references to the original series, and it was posted like three years after the original series, basically. And ugh, gosh, nobody that saw that video e probably cared or anything. So it was basically just a treat for myself, because I was basically just referencing things that only I would understand. So, like everything. Like, I used to cheat in that series. I'd like justify me using keep inventory and like giving myself my items back when I died if I like forgot to turn on keep inventory and I'd like have teleport pads and I'd be like oh I can pay an emerald for a teleport pad and like I was really mean to the villagers for some reason and somehow I I packed all of that into one video and made it the most god tier thing I've ever posted to this channel actually I think it's the second most god tier my roblox video that was pretty high quality as well. I'd say that's probably number one. So, uh, yeah, the original series was extremely boring because it was just me going, um, uh, and you're probably going to notice some of that in this video too because live commentary without cuts isn't really my forte. In fact, uh, this, this original, this part where I'm explaining stuff is probably going to be the only real part where there aren't any cuts or anything because I just want to give you some foundation, but there'll probably start to be more cuts as I start to do stuff. So, why am I making a season 4 now of this stupid series idea I had a really long time ago, and then I memed the heck out of it, and then I... I hate that phrase, memed the heck out of it. Why did I say that? So, here I am. And I don't know if we can make a cobble generator. There is lava there, and we can get water from blacksmith chests, so we can if we get lucky is what I'm... Is what I'm thinking. Anyways, I've always thought Sky Village Survival as a concept did ha Okay. I've always thought Sky Village Survival as a concept definitely had a lot of potential. And I... Ooh, you know what I forgot to do? I'm going to do slash uh, game rule. Keep inventory true because I don't feel like losing my stuff. That's not what I meant to click. Oh my goodness. Uh, there we go. Because I don't feel like losing my stuff. I don't really care if you think it's cheating. And then also slash... Uh, yeah, spawn point. Below. There we go. So, I've always thought this was an interesting concept. And I never really got a chance to visit it 
in its fullest potential because you know when i did do it i was terrible at youtubing i had no idea what i was doing and so here i am now finally reaching the full potential of sky village survival and it's probably gonna be more laid back like not as many cuts you know like this video is probably already pretty boring for some of you because it's not like oh epic jump cut whoa why are they in shopping carts ah. so i don't really care i'm gonna do it how i want to do it so yeah i just want to see how far we can get you know maybe actually finish it for once in my life because uh, i don't know i've always kind of wanted to revisit this concept but obviously it wouldn't fit on my main channel now so that's what we're doing here so right now i'm just collecting wood very interesting i would always never cut out the parts of me breaking wood in the original sky village survival series because i didn't really have a sense of you know what i should cut out what i should keep in if i should pause or not and i did uh, i didn't edit those videos i just used the built-in like pause hotkey and bandy cam to um pause the video recording and then i'd unpause when i wanted to start talking again except i didn't know when to pause and when i did pause it wasn't for nearly as long as it should have been and so there were a lot of shots of me just sitting in silence breaking wood and then also a lot of shots about me just talking about nothing or like really unimportant stuff or just going uh um while just breaking wood and so the videos were just really really long and boring and it's kind of ironic because that's what i'm doing now except i feel like what i'm talking about enough might be interesting enough to some of you or at least it's holding my attention otherwise i'd probably have stopped talking it by talking about it by now so uh before you go watch the god tier april fools video i made because i feel like i'm the only one who fully appreciated that because no one else has seen the full sky village survival series except for me but if you just go watch it right now you're not going to understand. Even if you go binge watch the entire first two original seasons and then watch the April Fool's video, it's not going to be good. So here's what you do if you want the definitive Sky Village survival experience, okay? You can travel down the timeline along with me. So go back to my channel, uh, sort by first uploaded. I think I actually have a Sky Village survival playlist for both season one and two. Watch those playlists in chronological order. Uh, they're really boring, but, you know, this is just what you got to do if you want the definitive experience. And after you've watched those in chronological order, uh, then wait three years to just let it, like, just let it marinate in your mind. Let all the thoughts about Sky Village survival float around. All the bad parts will, like, slowly go away, and all the most iconic parts of it will, will come to the front. And, and then, after three years have passed... You can watch the season three episode and only then will you appreciate how good of a video it is it's a video that requires a lot of effort to appreciate what am i doing why have i not made an axe yet i'm big brain minecraft man <sighs> let's make a pickaxe so we can uh get stone tools but that's what you just got to do if you want to appreciate it i don't expect anyone to actually do that but you know, I, I'm just not, I'm just making sure that, you know, if you just go watch the video right now, it's not going to be as good as I just described it as, all right? Just, you gotta do everything in chronological order. There's a, there's a science to it. Sky Village survival isn't something that you can come by easily. It's, it's something you need to work for and attain. It's like self-improvement, like, but Sky Village survival instead. I don't know how long these episodes are going to be. The free trial of Bandicam for the original series that I used to use. I used to use Bandicam quite a lot, actually. I used the free trial for my first, like, 10, 20 videos, or maybe more than that. And then I stopped using the free trial because I, like, actually bought it for $40, by the way. I wish I would have known that OBS existed. It was probably too uh, big brain for my small mind to handle. Like, oh, what the heck is a scene and a source? I'm too small brain to handle OBS. But if I knew about obs i mean i just explained what would happen if i knew about obs at the time but if i knew how to use obs at the time that would have been great i literally have iron what am i doing anyways so uh, i paid 40 dollars for this bandy cam i'm sure most of you have seen it like a bandycam.com watermark at the top of a video from like th three years ago used to be pretty big so uh yeah i used to use that and it cuts you off after 10 minutes of recording if you're using the free trial and that's what I was using. And so I would just record for 10 minutes. 
and then it would cut me off in the middle of me talking about how I'm about to play Five Nights at Freddy's 3 on my channel. And here's the thing about Five Nights at Freddy's 3, right? It was like the myth on my channel, okay? Because Five Nights at Freddy's 3, I always talked about it. In multiple videos, I brought up, I'm planning on playing Five Nights at Freddy's 3 on my channel. And I'm sure I had millions of people excited. Just kidding, no one was watching me. Uh, but I'm sure there was at least someone out there who was excited for my Five Nights at Freddy's 3 Let's Play when Five Nights at Freddy's was going to come out. And then you know what ended up happening? I bought Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I sat down to record it. And I, I don't know why I didn't. I just ended up not recording it. And I played through it by myself without recording it. I enjoyed it. Even though Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is literally the worst Five Nights at Freddy's game. Don't at me. Uh, if you guys want the topic for next video to be me talking about the Five Nights at Freddy's games while I play more Sky Village Survival, then please let me know in the comments. Give me a... Uh, this is going to be more of like a chill series, you know? Get to know Billabob more. Get to know his very strong, uh, surprisingly strong, scarily strong opinions about Five Nights at Freddy's and uh, My Little Pony, but we don't talk about that. So... That's what that's what this series is gonna be. Nighttime, I'm just gonna like sit here, just chill. Uh, wait, is there anything I need for mobs? What what difficulty am I on? We're gonna lock it on hard, cause I'm hardcore, and also I have keep inventory on. <laughs> so, yeah, Sky Village Survival. I guess I'll come back when it's morning. Oh, that's an Enderman. Uh, should we try and get pearls? I mean, I know there's no way. F I I'm gonna have to come up with some way. For me to oh shoot oh shoot this is bad why did i go hard mode bro <laughs> it's okay oh i spawn right here right i set my spawn point inside of this house oh, god why am i doing no damage and it was all for nothing okay well that skeleton really screwed me over there good thing i have keep inventory on either way i would have just grabbed it anyways okay uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to turn keep inventory off i i genuinely do not really care you know as i was talking there i remember i like said something i'll put it on the screen right now if it was important oh right no i just remembered i'm gonna need to come up with some way to get like end portal frames like maybe 10 emeralds equals one end portal frame because otherwise there will be no way for me to get to the end and i know i made fun of myself earlier for like making teleport pads in the original series to like help me speed up walking between bridges and villages by the way there's other villages around here i just need to bridge out and hope i find one and so I, I'd pay like one emerald to make a teleport pad to the, another village so I wouldn't have to waste all my time walking there. Not a terrible idea, but also just, just walk. No one cares. But yeah, I was thinking we could do something like that for end portal frames. Let me know what you guys think would be uh, fair in the comments. I doubt anyone's even watching right now, but please let me know. <laughs> you know, I get so many comments on some of my videos saying stuff like, Oh, you scream like a girl. Like, yeah, I know. You, you don't think I've noticed that I scream like a, a dying seal? I have, like, a Pokemon cry. No, you don't think I know that? You don't have to tell me I scream like a girl. I am fully aware. I embrace it, you know? Uh, that's a lot of people. I don't know about a lot of people, but I'm sure there's some people out there who think that's, like, fake. But that is actually how I scream. I'm not sure why. I think I'm, I'm a very overreactive person. And so I started screaming in a very overreactive way at some point and then it just kind of stuck and now i like can't stop myself from doing it i think it's something like that but then again i'm not a expert on i don't even know what you'd be an expert on to know more about that but no oh, there's another enderman all right this time we're going to be smart we work smarter not harder i All right, so I've decided first thing tomorrow, we're going and getting the wool from those torch pole things, because that is the only way to make a bed. We're going to make a bed, because this is extremely boring. So far this entire night, I've just been, like, sitting here. I died twice. There's another Enderman. Do we do it? No. Just let him be. And, yeah, I don't want to go through another night again, because there's basically nothing you can do here besides, you know, go out there and keep doing what you'd normally be doing, except hope that you don't die so i don't really want to count on that i'm gonna have to clean up some guys in fact i'm going to quickly make a iron sword i think iron will be plentiful if we find enough blacksmiths basically just gonna be going around perusing in villages and such uh so let's wait for it to be fully daytime and then let's go out and get a bed 
And then if we can, I want to try and branch out to another village. And we're also going to need to get some food. I don't know what direction we should go out in. I didn't see any other. I guess we should. Uh, I'm up 22 already. I think that's fine enough. Then again, it's not like it really matters because you know, what the heck, I'll turn it all the way up. <sighs> 48. See, there we go. This is one right over there. Oh my gosh, this is killing my frame rate. <laughs> okay, they're starting to burn. Oh, there's another one over there direct. Oh my gosh, I was itching my nose. There's another one directly over there. We'll we'll take a nice look see when um when it gets to be that time. There's a skeleton in that water over there. Oh my gosh, my frames. Why was I block hitting a skeleton? He just jumped out of his water to try and come kill me. That is extremely depressing okay there's a village over there there's a village over there there's, uh, another village over there Did I break that crop no there's a village over here let's see we only really want oh my god there's a village not not a village there's a skeleton right there okay we only really want villages with blacksmiths. That one has two blacksmiths. We might want to head over there. Also, I don't know why, but the village is generated... Sorry about the frames. I need to take a look at these guys. Are you gone? Good. No, the villages generated in Sky Village Survival are generally larger than, like, normal villages. Not sure if that has to do with, like, they have more space to generate or something, but just thought I might want to point that out. All right. I'm thinking we head over there, except that's like diagonal. Maybe we, does that one have two blacksmiths? No, is there another one over there? That one has one blacksmith, what I can see. I don't even know if that one has a blacksmith. Um. Yeah, let's head over there. It doesn't look the closest, but I think we have enough blocks to make it. I just now remembered that I don't really have a route back over here. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look too far away. We'll be good. And let's turn off our render distance a little bit. You can still see it there. And now it's bridging time. I don't know if I'm going to cut this out or if I'm going to keep talking. I guess I want to talk about my version real quick. I'm going to be playing on 1.8.9. I'm using Optifine. Uh, I'm playing on 1.8 because villages in 1.8 are in, what, the village and pillage updates, the one that added the new villages and the loot in those are terrible because more, more village chests, no, there's more chests throughout the village, but all the loot is really bad and it's much better for this to have the uh, blacksmith loot table because they totally removed blacksmiths well not blacksmiths as in the villager but they removed like the blacksmith hut and all of the good loot and stuff in the village and pillage update and you know while i'm not playing in the latest version i might as well play in 1.8 because i prefer the combat in 1.8 as opposed to i believe we'd be playing in like 1.12 no i'm stupid 1.14 was the village and pillage update we'd be playing in 13 so we are downgraded a bit here but honestly I, I don't think we'd be making it very far if this was above 1.14 or in 1.14. So I just thought I'd point that out. Ooh, another question. Oh, I forgot to grab wool. Uh, there will probably be wool over there. Uh, another question. Should I have background music in these videos? Because I feel like it's a lot more chill if I don't. But also, um, I feel like it also might kind of suck, so I don't know. Let me know. I'm sure there's still definitely people watching this. Okay, I now understand why I wanted the stupid teleport pads. Because <laughs> this is taking quite a while. And it's taken this long just to bridge out here. It'll take just about as long to get out here again. So, uh, I don't really know. Maybe the teleport pads weren't such a terrible idea. Maybe I was a little genius there. All right, I actually ran out of wood, but I think we'll be able to get there if I use enough cobblestone. All right, let's take a guess what's in this first blacksmith's chest here. I'm going to go ahead and guess, like, uh, let's go with leggings, because I already have leggings. That's about my luck. We're going to get some iron, and we're going to get some apples. Ooh, no, five obsidian. Hey, that's really good for that nether portal. I'm going to keep that 
right here. We've got some more grown crops here. And then also we've got another blacksmith. I'm going to quickly gather some wood so I can bridge around and make a bed real quick. Because I really don't want to have to <laughs> go through the night again. So I think overall it'll be more efficient. Because night's going to come again real quick. I think it'll be more efficient to... Yeah. Firstly, there is... If I die, I'm going to be so sad because then I'll have to walk all the way back. But it's definitely going to be more efficient to just parkour around here. And we got to hope we get this kind of quickly because mobs are going to start spawning soon. So let's stand here. Grab this. We'll get some torches too. Come on. Uh... Go faster, night's coming soon. Sometimes, uh, never mind. No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. There's another one. Actually, I do know what I was gonna say. I'm a very like hyper person sometimes, but also sometimes I'm just, I'm like this, you know? Please give me the wool, thank you. Where's my crafting table? I do not care, I'm making the bed right here. <laughs> this is gonna be our temporary home. We're gonna take this bed along with us. There we go, we're ready for nighttime. Let me grab this. Um, all right, so I'm going to check out that other blacksmith. Where the heck did we come from? Oh, yeah, we parkour because I thought we were going to run out of time. All right, here we are at the second blacksmith. Let's dig in from the top. This is a, a secret operation. All right, what's going to be in here? I'm guessing either chest plate or leggings, iron, and an apple. Okay, we got apple diamonds. That's pretty sick. And horse armor. So glad to ride my horse. Actually, we'll keep it. We'll keep it just in case. Let's check out some trades. I don't think we have yet. Uh, coal for emeralds. Emeralds for iron helmet. Yeah, I think that's going to be a no for me. Let's check out some other guys. Why not? Farmers are what we want the most. Because farmers have trades for what is it crops and crops are literally grown here so we can just take their crops and sell it back to them which is stonks as all the dank memers would say i hate the word memer i don't know why i'm also turning off rain because it's annoying and loud so there's usually gravel in villages but i don't think that generates when it's in a sky village like this hey i'm making it like an actual term even though it's something i totally made up um oh wait i already there we go so, I'm not sure how I'm going to make flint and steel. I know you can light a portal by, you know, just having it be lit. But also, that's really luck-based and can take a really long time if you get unlucky. So, if I can, I'd like to get flint and steel. I don't think that's in the loot table for the blacksmith chest. So, I don't know. If we, we can use the lava in the blacksmith to get it if we need to all right i'm gonna start looking for a farmer because oh wait there was literally a farmer at the last village i i just didn't remember that farmers are useful yet librarian in the library of course i already have books i don't know why i'd need books because it's i could make an enchanting table do i do it what would i enchant who knows why not let's do it <laughs> this is gonna be the stupidest i need to save the obsidian for the portal what am I doing? Am I actually doing this? No, not yet. Not yet. I will see what the comments say. Here, I'll, I'll hold a poll top right right now. That'll also help me know how many people actually made it here. Click it. Should I make an enchantment table or should I save up for a nether portal? I think the nether will be normal. I don't think it will be skied like this. So I'm going to try and keep out of there because I don't want to be like you know, cheating and just like live in the nether. But obviously, we're going to need blaze rods. Just kidding. I still don't know how I'm going to make an end portal, but we'll work it out. Also, there was a farmer at the last village. I know because... Why did I get seeds? Oh, I did get seeds. I'm just stupid. Because I heard him farming, and I was like, wow, that's really annoying. Can you stop farming, please? And then he stopped farming, and I was like, thank you. And I didn't even click with me that that was a farmer, and I kind of need a farmer if I want to get emeralds. Uh, emeralds, you don't really need to get them. They're just a general, generally useful in case you run into a trade that you like. I don't really think there's any trades here that we're going to need. I'm not really sure what 
any useful trade would be actually i'm pretty sure farmers just have brown coats like this yeah it's like the fletcher I'm gonna make some baked potatoes for a food source i have keep inventory on so technically i could just jump off whenever i'm low on food and then i'll just respawn by the bed i feel like that's cheating a little bit i mean it's not like i'm not already cheating i don't really care if you think i'm cheating in any way or not i'm just doing this for my own enjoyment and also just you know we're chill don't die please actually i don't really care but i'm not going to hit you off that was the old billy bob that was billy bob 9876 okay i'm a new man now i think i'm going to end the episode once i run out of things to talk about and i think i already kind of have for this episode so i don't know let me know what topics you want me to talk about i i like talking about things with myself that's kind of why i started doing youtube because i talk to myself a lot and i want to share things that you are you all might be interested in so if there's anything you want to hear my opinion on anything you want to you know know about me don't ask for my address please and i think we'll be chill uh next episode i'm gonna talk about stuff and i'm gonna play sky village survival you know if you guys really want I might finally do the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 Let's Play. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I already did that on Twitch. If you're not following me on Twitch, then what are you doing? It is so tempting to hit you off. I now understand why the old Billy Bob... Billy Bob 9876 my old username. I now understand why he always hit villagers off. Because firstly, your trades are useless. Maybe that's because I haven't upgraded them at all, but psh, it doesn't matter. Secondly, you stand right on the edge. It is so tempting to just... Is that the only block there? No, it's not. It's so tempting. I don't even care. Joke's ruined. All right. That's it. Uh, uh, let's thank... Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Never thought I'd be doing a Minecraft Let's Play in 2020.